Zero FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got a used R Finder B1 here. The B1 Plus has got USB charging. There is a USB-C connector that connects you to the PC on this device. R Finder is a VHF, UHF, and Android radio, and the new R Finder is oh, it's like twelve hundred pounds at the moment. But managed to get this one used. Now, I still. This is the first time I've never used R Finder before ever. I know what it does, you know, DMR, VHF, UHF. And I've downloaded the app, which I've not registered yet. And it says here to use your R Finder, download the app from here. I'm going to tap that and I'm going to always allow, like so. And hopefully it's going to start allowing everything. And it's going to download. See, it's downloading here the sort of firmware, software that I need to make this device work. So it's a nice device, quite a big device. It's quite uh, bright here, I'm trying to get a... That's the thing, when you're recording a screen, it's always too bright. So, oops, I don't want to lose what I'm doing. Well, you can see that there's a thing there where it's downloading an APK. So I'm going to keep you informed, because this is almost like a first time setup, isn't it? The other thing I've noticed, which is unusual, is when it's charging, it does charge. Just went up then a little bit. It doesn't actually have a little zigzag to show it's charging, which threw me a bit. I thought it was faulty. The other thing I'm learning is that you've got R Finder for hams, but then you've got R Finder Pro. I think this one came pre-installed with R Finder Pro, but you need a login and password for that. Eventually, we want it to look like this. Right, in progress. How's the progress going? Near. I don't know what to do once it <laughs> once it's downloaded, but we'll soon find out. I got a feeling we've got to re register, then pay. Right, well, it's saying it's done it. Do I tap it? For your security, the phone is now allowed to install unknown. Okay. Don't really have much choice, do we, eh? So I've enabled that. And we've got install there. Install. Fun times. And we're going to open and uh, confirm that it allows basically everything to use it. Right, here's the registration stuff. So I've never registered. Let's register. So we got call sign, email, password, save. Let's do this. Right, we're going to hit save. See what it does. Registration complete. Start my trial. Welcome to R Finder. Get started by selecting radio setup from menu. Quite reflective here. I think I do want the DMR OIP thing. It's where you can use DMR without a hotspot because you can choose RF only, increased stability. So get started by select by selecting radio setup from the menu. Enable development version. Oh, welcome to our finder. Get started by selecting radio setup from the menu up here. Um, oh, well, it wants me to click OK. What does it say here? All right, it looks like we've got DMR, IP, R Finder in there already anyway. So, DMR settings. Development must be enabled for DMR. Enabling the development features will decrease the stability of the app. By choosing to update, you are submitting that you are qualified to operate and agreeing to the decreased stability of the product. Hmm, okay. Continue. Right. I've got a lot to learn because <laughs> I've never used this radio. ROIP. Why do you need a frequency if you're using, um, if you're not even, uh, if you're using DMROIP? More to learn. Let's just try and go back to the actual just normal radio. So we'll go R Finder Network, Video Conference, Network Map. Interesting. Let's go back. We've got DTMF. Wow, looks looks very smart actually. Sorry about background noise, but hey, we're not going to learn unless we do this. So what's this here? Memories. Preparing device. Do we have memories? 
local zone. Right, closed memory. So obviously we got we, there's some sort of code plug we might have to. What's this one here? Distance, frequencies, call. Ah, that's a repeater. Let's see if we can select one. So GB3. The nearest one to me is GB3. Or well, Bristol's close-ish. Um, GB3 FI, I would say. See if I can find that. Oh, there it is there. Cheddar. Okay, set parameters. And then we're going to grab an antenna. And so we're going to tap it. Set parameters. And then do we do add repeater? What's all this? Repeater, add repeater request. Oh, okay, I'm not going to do that. Set parameters. Let me grab an antenna a minute. Okay, it asked me to put in my DMR number, then I selected initialize radio, and now I'm doing refresh all databases. So we'll do that as well. So we'll do them all. Yeah, let it do that. It's also giving me the option to load DMR user database as well. And I've gone back and I've got this on the screen. If I tap, it does give me the option to change the frequencies and parameters. At the top there, it says DMR mode on the right with a little drop down arrow. FM narrow, FM wide or DMR. 